my God, Jack, does this mean you're gonna perform on Broadway tonight? Eh, uh, no, uh, Jack is not the first understudy. <laughs> the whole thing, of course, was very Groundhog Day because we've ended this show before. Uh, so th I was very conscious this time of being conscious. It's, uh, everything is different. Everything smells different and tastes different. And I, and I, I certainly, I, I'm not, uh, I'm not guilty of not appreciating it this time around. The doctor said to induce labor, I should walk around and exercise. Well, then that baby's never getting born. <laughs> it's such a hard balance, particularly in sitcom, but in, in television in general. But the idea of how do you give the audience what they want every week, which is their characters, their way, but also give them growth. And it was hard the first time around because we, we had characters that were getting to their late thirties and they still weren't married and they still didn't have kids. And it was a weird social pressure. And at the same time, a pressure not to mess with the show. This time around, I think um, there was a chance to say, okay, look, they had, they both got married. They didn't have kids, we got rid of that. But it gave us that story to tell Possibly better. I think we told the story better this time because, first of all, it was weird that two people their age were, were having kids um, in, two different, in two very different ways. But also that now they, just as we appreciated the reboot, they, they really get a chance to appreciate that they have a, a shot at, at parenthood. Why does everybody think that's me? It's a gaunt, dead-eyed man who never changes and looks down on everyone. 